Oh, welcome back. We're going back to that earlier um, discussion we're supposed to have with the guests. He's joined us to discuss the electoral bill, and I'm talking about a social commentator, Nuruddin Adegbenro. Good evening, Mr. Adegbenro. Hello. Good evening. Good Thank evening. Good to have you with us. I can hear you. Hear you. Okay, so let's just dig right into it. Section 58, subsection 4 of the 1999 Constitution as amended stipulates that where a bill is presented to the president for assent, he shall within 30 days thereof signify that he assents or that he withholds assent with the constitutional time limit ending today. Femi Falano the SAN, has challenged the National Assembly to proceed to override the decision of the president. Do you see them exercising their veto? Uh, one thing here is I uh, really subscribe to the postulation of Femi Falano on this particular matter. Every arm of government is being empowered to do some certain functions if you take it from the handle of the legislative power they have, a situation where they have the fact after a particular bill has been sent to the presidency as an arm of executive government, and if they also do the justice, they can use their own special power and try it in the constitution for them. And they can exercise it in this situation. Do you see and if it's settled in, then it becomes a law. All right, but do you think that this National Assembly has the political will to do so? Well, it's not even about political will, it's about the numbers. So if they can have a simple majority in both the National Assembly, as of Senate and as of representing in that case, and we have been telling me by Gabi Amila. And you have been one of the one of the Senate. The political will has to do the way the bill has been passed. So we want to know whether they are representing the, the party, APC, or they are representing 99. A lot of Nigerians are so interested in this particular bill. Mm -hmm. Because this bill is going to entrench the kind of democracy we have in Nigeria. So one thing there is this. The political will inside it, how they've been able to come out with that particular bill and send it to the president, and if they for do justice, they should use their own power. I think with the numbers they have, a lot of senators, especially, they have fighting for the survival of their own political goal, and that is the main reason. So that's why you see them, a lot of senators, if the bill is not passed, they will never stand their particular position again because of what is inside of that particular bill. So, and that is the only thing. It's the survival of the system for them. All right. Well, reports say that the president wants the direct primary imposed on uh, political parties in the new bill removed. Uh, well, based on the advice of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, uh, do you see this as enough ground to withhold? The accent? Do you see this as enough ground to withhold the accent by the president? Uh, one thing that you, one thing you should know is this. From the inception, uh, Malamin has been a block in the trust of uh, political justice in this administration. Because of that, he's a chief advisor of the government especially the one of the president is the attorney general whether he's one of the reasons we may not know but one thing that is very very certain is being on this particular matter Anthony general has no level and the national assembly should go ahead and do it but i think there is no way you want to do the political calculation of what salami said is one of the reasons why the president did not sign it all right, so once the uh, two third uh, required majority of the Senate and House of Representatives is achieved, say tomorrow, we could see a change in the game. Uh, one 
what India is doing. A lot of things are involved. It's not about political parties again. It's about this, especially the senators. I'm not talking about 315 in the House of Representatives. I'm talking about 109 senators in the House of Senate. They are fighting for their political party. It's not about party. Look for it and can. The lot of APC and PDP members that they know if this bill is not passed, they cannot come to that Senate again. So they are fighting not only for Nigeria, they are fighting for their own political interest. They are fighting for their own political survival. They are fighting for their own political fees. And when a politician is fighting for his interest, he will do everything. <laughs> so that's the thing. All right. I like the way you put it. Since it's not about Nigerians, they will do anything. But if it were to be about Nigerians, then politics can be played yeah. with money and bags. <laughs> All right, well, let's hope that's not the case. Let's, let's hope that Nigerians will see their representatives, uh, represent them fully on this very uh, important matter. Because, matter of fact, a coalition of over 70 organizations, you know, working in support of credible and transparent elections in Nigeria, have urged the president, you know, to uh, assent to this bill. And they're also urging the National Assembly to, you know, override if the, the, the assent is not given. So this is a very, uh, very serious matter that Nigerians are all interested in. So we'll just keep our fingers crossed and see what happens now that the president is back um, and, and the presidency says we're going to hear uh, what the situation is from the presidency very soon. So fingers crossed. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Nuruddin Adegmeru for your time and insight on this. Good man. All right. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.